Hello everyone, today I'm attempting to improve this jungle themed diamond art painting that I did a few months ago. I've got all of these new diamonds and more and I'll be framing this as well at the end, it's something that I've not done before. So make sure you stay tuned to see how that goes. So I think first of all what I'm going to do is have a look at this and remove some of the existing diamonds. The main thing that I don't like about this painting is, well, we've lost a lot of the detail on the animals. So a lot of them, like this one, just completely black. You could see the giraffe and the elephant and the rhino, but some of the others, they're there, but you can't really see them, like this little lion. So just to add a bit more detail, really. So I'm going to be using this image to try and add some whites, I think, to the eyes, some more dark areas. And with these new diamonds, things like the flamingo, I want to make that more pink. There's a bit of colour on here that isn't on the finished piece. So really just try and make it stand out a little bit more. So I think I'm going to start after having a look around the picture with the hippopotamus. But I'm going to change this blue bit out for something a little bit duller, a bit bright that find some colours in these sets and I've got some of these AB diamonds as well let's uh, add some shiny to it so I'm just going to pick out I think to start off with the blue change eye for something a bit more it's not as bright and it's not the same colour as the sky and uh, go from there really I'm thinking as well I might need to add white just a white um, or a white shiny if I've got one for the eyes uh, to make them stand out. I think it's important if we get the eyes standing out and things like the nose, then it might show a little bit better. All right, so I've got out all of the diamonds that I want to replace. I'm just going to go for a slightly darker colour. I want to remove some of the blue here. Pick a sort of greyish colour for that. Put some of the sparky diamonds down as the eyes and the nose as well. And just see if that makes an improvement at all. There was a, quite a few bits of green as well on this bit and I'm not quite sure why. There's another one there that I'm going to replace. I'm not too worried about the stickiness of this, if, the, if they stick too well or not, because I'm going to be sealing it afterwards. I know probably isn't going to be as sticky as it was before. But let's just see what this does. This diamond art pen is really easy to just pick up and use compared to the ones that came with the set. So I've finished the greeny blue, now I'm going to put some of this grey down in the other areas and get rid of some of that blue on the face. Right, I think I'm going to put in the white of the eye now. Is that an improvement to what we had before? I think so, yeah. I think you can see him a lot better actually. Okay, so I think I'm gonna now move on. There's a couple of meerkats down here. There's one. And there. Just do similar sort of thing really with those. This is gonna be a bit more difficult to do, I think, this meerkat. But um, I've got rid of a bit of green and I'm going to just try and outline it against the hippo now. And I've got a nose there, I can use that black on and a couple of eyes. Yeah, after this, let's focus on the bigger animals. I think that's where I'm going to get the biggest effect. I don't know what that looks like. It doesn't look like a meerkat. So as you can see it a little bit more, but I'm not going to bother with the other one, which is here. Okay, so yeah, flamingo is going to be relatively easy, I think. Pop in that same colour we were using on the meerkat. And 
where that V is, that was green, so I was going to probably just replace that with something from here. So let's do that now. Yeah, I think that's probably a bit better. We'll give him a little, I think a black eye, a black eye. Yeah, and then pink, put pink in now. Well, this is the first diamond art painting that I completed and I've never actually done anything like this to try and improve it. So this is basically just having a go and seeing if I can with these new diamonds. He doesn't need too much work doing, I don't think. I might just change the eyes out. Let's just do that now while I've got this one open. I'm thinking, you know, this near cat down here. I'm going to take these white ones out and put the, the black ones. I think I can do a little bit with him. It's going to take some diamonds off a second. So I'm going to use this light peachy colour just for the outline. There was a monkey there, so I just put a bit of a couple of eyes in for him. Yeah, it's a bit better. What else? The zebra? Got a lot of green on him for some reason. Maybe I'll swap those out in the blue. I think we've definitely got a bit more definition on this now. I might try and attempt to then do the other meerkat and start out the rhino's horn. Okay, I'm pretty certain there's no diamonds missing. I've gone over a few times, 99% sure. But there are no diamonds missing. So what I'm going to do is just do some Mod Podge on here. I'm just going to Put a layer on there, maybe a couple, see how it goes. This one's got the matte finish. Hopefully it doesn't make it not so shiny. It's just to seal them in really. Just wanted to quickly thank everyone who's watched the videos I did on this. They were my first ones for the channel and it's nice now to finish this off completely and get it sealed and framed. I was just wondering if anyone else does this with their completed diamond art, how do you store them when they're complete? Okay, so this has been a couple of days now and it's all dry. I am quite happy that we can still see some of the sparkly diamonds. I quite like the finish, the matte finish on this. You can still see some sparkle, which is good. So what I'm going to do now is cut this to size and get it framed.
Okay, I think that's everything. Let me know if you've enjoyed this video by clicking on the like button. And if you subscribe, you won't miss out on any future Diamond Art videos that I do. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all soon.